All right. Good morning, everybody. This is, uh, let's see, uh, we're, I don't know if the tape has started yet. Does the tape start with a voice activation? Is that how it was? I don't know. Anyhow. Yeah, I don't, I don't see, I don't see button. Yeah, I see things, that they're doing things, probably voice activated. Okay. All right. All right. Let me say good morning. Good morning, everybody. And ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 38th Call Lab Convention. Today is the 18th of April. The name of the session is Rectangles. Uh, I'm Ron Marcus. I'm and your uh, I'm the moderator for this session. Um, and the, the name of the session is, is Rectangles, of course. Then it's basically this is going to be the Bob Elling Show. Um, and today is um, today's 18th. The name of the panelists, of course, is Bob Elling. Big big warm welcome to Bob. Uh, Bob is from uh, San Leandro in the Bay Area in California. Been calling for 37 years. Uh, he's the owner of Riverboat Records and produces uh, music for nine other labels. So, once again, this is the Bob Elling Show. Here it is. Here's Bob on rectangles. Okay. Basically, I think most of you know rectangles are using six couples. It was originally referred to as hexagon squares, but uh, they developed the real, true hexagon. And I saw that. And it, like, gave me a headache. It was wonderful. It was wonderful. But it's a perversion of dancing, in my opinion. You have to do all of these different things and get yourself into a total different kind of mindset. Whereas when you're working with rectangles, you're taking what you already know for the most part. And I started doing this several years ago. And I pointed out to guys, and they, you get nightmares at this. Uh you know, resolving the six-couple square, you know, can't, it, it's a nightmare sometimes. And I just frankly was honest with my dancers, and I said, you know, you can either let me be Bob and be creative, or I can resolve the square. It might take me 25 minutes to resolve one thing, you know, because uh, you can come up with these really bizarre configurations. Or I can just call really cool stuff. And they said, Bob, just call cool stuff. We don't care if we get our partner back. That was a godsend because I got to develop choreography that I hope none of you have ever seen before. You know, and it's easy to do. That's the big thing about it. You know, the main feature of this whole convention is that's entertainment. I tell you, you learn how to do this six couple stuff, you can bring the house down. Now, is that why mainly? No. Many of us are in a situation today. Maybe I was the only one, but I've been at clubs where we got to start the first hit, and there's only six couples here yet. We don't have enough for that second square. Or you end the night. So two couples go home early because they can't dance the last hit. Wouldn't it be sweet if they could dance with everybody? So I started doing this. I don't ask people to make six couple squares anymore at my groups. If we get down near the end, there's only six couples left. Boom, they'll do it. Or during the middle of the night, they decide, Bob, do a six-couple thing this tip. They like it enough. Okay? I tried to make notes. You got the hand. Oh, by the way, he's going to go down and try and get some extra handouts if you didn't get one. But even if he's not successful right away, you can go down to the check-in, and they will make handouts available. They have it on a digital file there, and they can print them. Also, it'll be available on the Color Lab website. Okay? Great. Now, I'm also doing a, a session tomorrow about crams and modules. And the thing is, modular choreography, if you use modules, it's just beautiful with cram. I mean, with six couple. And the same stuff you learn in crams. It works. <laughs> oh, man, that's, that system is so awesome. You just poured it over and bingo. You got it. Uh, okay. It looks, according to my things, that I get right into some choreography. Can I get some volunteers, six couples up here? They say seeing is believing. Now... I, I'll just do it a little aside here that when I was doing, I'd go some places. I used to fill in and do C1 for Bronc Wise, and we'd always have the six couples situation. And the first time I suggested they get up and do six couples, 
they wanted to pack me up and send me home right then. Because they made the number one assumption that was common everywhere I go. That if you call sex couple stuff, it's going to be so dumb, it's going to be boring. I did it once for Bronx Sing, and the next time I showed up at the beginning of the dance, they squared up in six couples. They said, do it again. And it's been that way. That's been my experience. I did the presentation last year, and reports are coming back from a few couple uh, callers that have used it. They're just gone. So... We're going this from the beginning in case you've never done it. The head couples are a line of four, and the sides are just a normal set of couples, okay? Head square through four. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I like that. Yeah, we are crowded. They promised a bigger room, and if you were there last year, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, that's the corner box that everybody knows about. What makes this different? Okay, swing through. The only thing is now we have three waves instead of two, right? Boy, run around the girl, bend the line, reverse the flutter. All, all, of, your, all of your little modules and zeros that work apply the same thing here. Slide through and they're back to the corner, I believe. Okay, what's really cool? Swing through. Okay, AC do see. Oh, we got an echo. Boy, run around the girl. Bend the line. Now, in our regular four couple choreography, we say that's a 1P, 2P line. Well, in six couple, you can call it a 1P, 2P, 3P. <laughs> okay, everybody's in sequence. Isn't it cool that these little modules that we use a million times, we take them right with us to the six-couple stuff, okay? Then we begin sometimes to spice up, and there's a few calls we need to alter a little bit, okay? Now, I have never had anybody fail, and I hope it's not going to be the first time right here, touch a quarter, just like a regular square, coordinate, circulate once and a half, same sex trade. Girls hold on and the boys move forward. Like I say, that just about worked. I've never, ever had anybody fail to do a coordinate that way. But it's different, right? We altered the rules because there's more people in the middle. Okay, bend the line. Do a right or through. Now, what, what did I do? I went from. Oh, I went. Yeah. Slide through. We're now all facing your partner. Corner. Corner. I'm sorry. Step to a wave. Now, one of the. This is entertainment, right? Yes, the dancers can smile. But it's like the floor. This takes longer sometimes depending on the strength of the dancers, okay? But when they can do a relay the deucey from here, man, you own those dancers. They love you, but we got to change it, or I do, to make it consistent. And it's like, remember the person who's got your right hand. When I teach relay the deucey, I say, this is the magic hand. This hand keeps meeting over and over again. There's extra couples, right? So when we make that other line, that vertical line down the middle, that big wave, we're going to... Extra couple, extra swing through. Make sense? Okay, so start a relay the doozy. Swing half by the right, boy three quarter. First girl move up, join the boy wave. Swing through six hands. Boys move up. The next one moves, or girl moves up. Swing through four hands. The next last girl move up. Go two hands. The last hand, girls turn left three quarter, and the boy move up. Yeah, you saw a little struggle in the middle. That happens. That happens. Now, you run into that problem. How do I cure it so that girl doesn't make the mistake the second time? With the two girls holding hands, look at each other. When you meet again, that's the last hand you use. When you meet again, don't let go. Relay the deuce. You go. First girl, move up. Keep going, looking for the other girl. Second girl, move up. Start swinging through. Keep looking for the other girl. Third girl, move up. Start a swing through. Meet the other girl. Turn three-quarter and the boy move up. And it's easy. It teaches quick, in my experience. 
you know, if they're struggling to do it from a regular square, they're going to struggle here. You know, let's let's be honest. But if they're proficient dancers, it's great. Uh, let's see. Oh, I don't know. Oh, we're in the zero line. Swing through. I mean box. Boy, run around the girl. Ferris wheel. Just do it like a regular square. Good. In the middle, star through. Might not be your home. Is it your home? Holy cow. Miracles happen. Could only do this with great dancers. Okay. And then I took things and let's take a novel. I mean, a regular call. And call it regular, but make it feel totally different. Okay? All right. Yeah, oh, they're giving us more room here. Good. You're a good man there. Okay. Heads square through four. I always thought Dixie Grand was a good, cool call, right? Watch this. Single circle to a wave. AC Ducey. Boy, run around a girl, do a Ferris wheel, in the middle touch a quarter and make a wave, and those same two girls trade. In your in your wave, in your wave, take a peek and trade. Okay, cool. All right. Side couples walk down the middle, do a right and a left through, and then back away. Totally unnecessary, but you don't want those people to fall asleep waiting for the next action. Or I'll have them promenade around the outside, okay? Now the heads pass through, wheel and deal, and spread. Good. Star through. Do a triple pass through. Yeah, we get to do triples. Okay, let's all do a clover leaf. Cool. Okay. The centers zoom back too. Okay. New centers zoom back too. New centers are right to let through and zoom back too. That what was that all about? That was erasing that promenade halfway because I wanted to keep my sequence. Triple pass through. Cloverleaf. Oh, okay. Now, and the, those clover leaves were fillers. You know, I just did a long pass through and a big clover leaf. Do it twice. It was it was just a filler. Okay. Now, the nice thing about Dixie Grand here, centers. I don't know if this will work. Please work. Okay. Centers give a right hand shake and pull by. That's four people. Eight people give a left hand pull by. Twelve people give a right hand pull by. Alamand left to the corner. Promenade, ten steps around, get back home. That's cool. All right. Now, let's see. What do I want to do next? There's so many things. Oh, I really like this. This is a new thing. I wrote new stuff for this year. Okay? Side couples, square through four. And I use, I use a little thing... I call it the one by two concept. Each person in the middle find a couple you're facing. Each person do a dosado with that couple. Yeah, and, and the couples in my classes hold hands still. Yeah. Okay. Now, now here we're going to play with this one by two thing, and you guys are callers. I expect you to get it right the first time. Okay. With the person you're facing. Sides, make a three hand right hand star. Turn it round, go back to the middle and meet your partner, make a two hand left hand star. Go back and face the outside line, make a six hand right hand star. Six hands. The other right, sir, lady. Yeah, there you go, turn it round. Sides back to the middle, make a left hand star, four hands. You know, all of a sudden, a simple little routine has so many variations that you can do with it, okay? Now, uh, center split the outside two. Separate, go around two, he'll go on the end, make a line. Good job. The ends bend the line, step forward, face in your home, right? Yeah. Okay, then there's 
I should read these things. I'm trying to think of the... Oh! A little thing like lead right, circle to a line. Okay? When we lead to the right, let's show you this way first. Head couples touch a quarter, and each box do a walk and dodge. Good. Now, you're all facing another couple, right? So, just trust me in this aspect. If we lead to the right, this is where we're going to get out. This is where we're going to. So, let's see. Do a right to left through. Veer to the left. Do a half a circulate. Get back home. Because I want you to do it at home. Now, this is the way I present it to my dancers. Okay? I make sure they know where they're going to go and actually have gone there before I do this. Now, heads. Remember where we just were? Heads lead to the right. Cool. Now, here's where things get interesting to me. I'm sorry, but I just get all excited about this stuff. We all know how to circle to a line. Is that correct? Let's break it down into the parts. If you start in the center and you do a circle to a line, let's forget about the people who arch and go under. But what do the centers do? They go halfway and veer left. Is that right? We got four people in the very center. You still do the center's part. You circle halfway and veer left. The outsides will do it like they normally do. Centers are too. They just don't know it. Okay? Circle to a line. Okay. So now we have this other setup here. Okay? Do a, those who can do a right and left through. Dive through. No, lower than it's, you, you, the outsides usually go under. Yeah, yeah. But that that because of you, I'm going to show something else. Do a right and left through right here. Arch in the middle and dive through. Yeah. So there, there we got it. Okay. Uh, let's have those who can do a right and left through. Because he did that thing. I learned several years ago. I had no idea, but at beforehand. I'd been calling 25 years ago. I found out my uncle called square dancing into Cumberland Gap. Not modern square dancing, the old mountain style. Then he told me, he says, you come from a long line of callers. Your grandpa was a caller and your great-grandpa was a caller. And they all did it in the Cumberland Gap area, back where they actually worked with a fiddler and that. And I went, yeah, like, sure. And then he proceeded to sing uh, square dance stuff to me. I've never heard anything sweeter or better in my life. You know, so I feel pretty cool about that. But it makes me think old mountain-style square dancing. We had the old visiting couple stuff. You all remember that, right? And one of the really popular things at one time was called dip and dive. We're going to do a dip and dive. And I thought, well, I'm going to show this to my dancers. Are they going to like it? They went crazy. They loved it. Okay, we're going to do six dive-throughs is what it's going to amount to, because where you are is where I want you to end up. So arch in the middle, the others dive through and make an arch in the middle. Dive through, make an arch in the middle. Dive through, make an arch in the middle. Dive through, that's four, right? Arch in the middle and dive through. Arch in the middle and dive through. Are we all back? Okay, that's cool. So I was able to take... Something that we can't use anymore because we like to keep everybody active. And the beauty of the six-couple square, everybody does it. You know, we don't have that one person, one couple that sits and watches. Now, trying crazy things because Bear Miller just loves to see something crazy. Okay, we did that weird circle to a line. We're going to do another circle to a line. There's only two couples facing, right? We're going to have you circle to a line while the other couple does a veer left. Go. And we'll have a line of six. Uh, uh, to a line. There should be no, you're in separate lines. Lines go up to the middle and back. There we go. Of course, you've got to teach circle to a line again. But it, to me, it works. And, you know, after I did that right and left through there, do I have a 1P, 2P, 3P? Are you all in sequence? Yes, sure. Yeah. Is that sweet? <laughs> Pass through. Uh, whoa. I used, used to use a thing where you did a center's partner trade, the other's wheel and deal behind them, you know, for a kind of triple wheel and deal thing. 
And then it, it, it hit me. Let's have the center couple wheel around, the others wheel and deal behind them. And, you know, it, it flows nice and bingo, and you're in your triple pass through formation. Okay. Do a triple pass through. First couple go left, second couple go right, third couple wheel around. We have our line of six. So the the old standard of dancing back in the late 60s, early 70s was based on head square through four, and you get a box or you do stuff, or you did heads lead right circle to a line, and you did all these things with wheel and deal, break, making the triple zero type things. So it works here, and this is really great. Now, uh, the bad thing about having notes to read from is they're great, they're organized, but when you read like me, it does it there. Okay. Let's have everybody join hands, circle left about two steps and get back home if I'm lucky. No, stop. Heads, where are you? Sides are home. Are you, oh, you're diagonally across from home? Oh, heads pass through. That's right. That's okay. And couples trade. Heads go up to the middle and back. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Okay. Now, oh, you guys were, okay. Wasn't quite what they told me. But but like I say, my dancers expect that. <laughs> they really do. And let's have the heads in the center of the line do a half sachet. The center two. Then the girls do a half sachet. Yeah. My dancers do it different. They have the right-hand person go in front, but that's okay. <laughs> now, dancers get a big kick out of doing something that seems impossible, and then you do it from this kind of a setup. Now, there's the call teacup chain. Now, the head men, there's two of you together, right? You're going to basically do the as-couples concept. Now, you know, maybe that's off the advanced list, but when I was a beginner, we did it in beginner class. We we did it to horse around. So it's fine. And the head ladies, no, you're a couple. Everything is a couple. If you want to wrap arms around you, you want to hook elbow, you whatever you do, permanent glue. Okay? You're permanently glued together. Now, what's going to happen is the side man, when two girls come at you, you take the appropriate hand and up, turn her, and both girls go around. The head men, if one girl comes at you, you turn one. If two comes at you, you turn two. Okay? Head lady center teacup chain, go. Side lady go right. Go around two men. Side ladies go into the middle. There you go. Yeah, and here we're getting near the end. At the end, two boys are going to two, turn two girls. It's like high school kids going out on a date, you know. <laughs> Good. you got a line of six up to the middle and the back of the way. So, hey, did that take a lot of teaching? No. You know, you, you have to have people who can hold on to each other. That's all. But what was really cool, because I went through and I had a whole list of calls, Man, we can do this or we can't do that. We can never do a spin chain exchange of gears. I was wrong. I was so wrong. I just did this three weeks ago. I do not recommend that you call this a lot. But you call, one time, one time has such value. These people walk strutting ten feet tall out the door. Okay? Girls, you're going to work as a couple. Boys, you're going to work as a couple. Side square through four ends. Okay, one by two, do side that couple, and make a wave with them. Yeah. Spin chain exchange of gears, half by the right, all the boys three quarters. The couple boys trade, the girls turn around, with the boys make a left-hand star three quarters. Single girl leads everybody around. Yeah, some are going as couples, some is going as singles. And then flip in, girls. <laughs> and 
and you're dancing, go, I don't believe it. You know why? Because it's not hard. It's just different. It's not hard, okay? So then if you're using cram, just say, oh, my gosh, what am I going to do here? Stay one by two, would you, through this whole sequence? Girls trade, two girls trade with one girl, good. And two by one, recycle and sweep a quarter more. Yeah, if we were in a four-couple square, we would have an opposite lady line. Okay. Again, staying together like that, slide through. Oh, my gosh. There we go. One by two, pass through and trade by. Good. Slide through. Yeah, yeah. One by two. As I said, everything stays that way. Yeah. All right. Everybody join hands in a ring. Couple of steps to the left circle. Head couple stop. And the center head couples do a half sachet. Is anybody home? No. What do we need? Heads of right and left through? Or, or is it just diagonal? Okay. Those that need to. Your partner's there. Oh, I messed it up. I'd already fixed the girls up. Just go back to your home. Okay. You know, it's like I tell my dancers at home, did that take anything away from your success of doing spin chain exchange of gears? Absolutely not. And I like what Mike Seastrom said today. You call a sequence and you mess it up. Own it and move on, you know, and I do that. Now, one thing that I had a lot of fun with was load the boat. Oh, my gosh. Head couples pass through. Oh, wait. Yeah, we're going to be pressed. Could everybody, have we got room to move everybody's chairs back a little bit? Everybody in the room? Is there room in the back of the room? Uh. Yeah, I don't mind this. Isn't I, because when we make a line of six that way, they promised me a room big enough to do this. Okay. That's great. I, th- I, I think I can still make the point, though. Okay. Heads pass through and bend the line. And a right and a left through. Now, listen, I, I, I've never taught this. So I just assume everybody can do it. Heads, keep your partner in a couple spread. Side couple squeeze into the middle. There you go. Whoa. Yeah. Everybody. And then I then I would do fillers. Got a good zero. Pass the ocean, everybody. Swing through. Spin the top. And a right and a left through. Cool. All right. Now, here we go. We all know how to load the boat, right? With the couples on the outside. Who's the outside couples? I want you to do the outside part. Load the boat. Go. Now the centers do a right and a left through. And the centers back away. Please tell me you're home. Oh, my God. That's what my dancers said. <laughs> okay. All right. Um Let's see. What did I do? Oh, try this. Heads pass through. Tag the line. And face in. Good. Side star through. No, no, no. Don't fix it, sir. It ain't broke. It ain't broke. Center spread. Lines of six up to the middle and back. Okay. Pass through. Here's the thing that's fun to do. Divide your line in half. Three on this side, three on that side. Three by three, wheel and kneel. Yeah. Do a double pass through. First three go left, next three go right. Yeah. That's a little little new dimension to what we can do. Uh, If you're on the end of the line, who's on the end of the line? Okay. If you're on the end of the line, load the boat. If you're in the middle, pass through. Same four, tag the line. Same four, face in. Anybody close? You lost somebody in the center? 
We have rescue. We have rescue teams. Hey, man, you, you got to come to my club. I need guys like you. That's how I write new choreography. Okay. We did the Dixiegram. No, okay, we'll do that one again. Okay, we'll we'll cut to the chase though. Side heads pass through and tag the line, and face the middle. Okay, and I'll explain what's happening here. Okay, sides star through and spread apart. You know, I did the pass through wheel and deals and stuff. That's that's to disorient everybody. See, the sides you're on the outside. If you do your load the boat, you're going home. Okay, now if a line of four were to pass through, tag the line and face in, and you called that twice, you would end up where you started, right? So the ends load the boat, centers pass through, do a tag the line, and quarter in, and you're all home. But it's a nice, it's long enough so that the two people, everybody takes the same amount of steps, trying to keep it more like what I call dancing, fitting the music. Okay, now, here's a little thing I'm still working on, okay? Heads pass through with a wheel and deal. And in the middle of the square, please, pass the ocean. Oh! You, you will have no more grandkids. It's, it's <laughs> okay, anyway, the couple, we have a wave in the middle facing somebody. I want you to remember you're facing somebody. Okay, ping pong circulate with them. In the middle, recycle. And pass the ocean. You're facing somebody new. With them, do a ping pong circulate. Okay, good. Uh, in the middle, recycle. Good, do a right and a through. Pass the ocean. And you just play with them, ping pong circulate. Good. Now, I don't have this part perfected yet, okay? So, but, but please stay with You might come up with the idea and send me an email. Everybody let the centers go first. Do your part of the ping pong circulate go. And we'll have a forehand star in the middle. If those girls walk straight ahead. Yeah, you have a wave. It's kind of like a thar. Yeah, you're with him. Yeah, you got you when you make wave. Remember, if you started on the outside, you're in a wave. So I did it. It's not so much that I like that one so much, but I love this one. From here, everybody do your part of a ping pong circulate. And then we got a wave between couples. Then do a recycle, please. And we don't think about it, but zoom. No, just this center down. Star through. Work with the ones behind you. Zoom. And so you can take turns interacting, doing some calls. Now, this isn't going to work. It might be on my notes here somewhere. I think it is. And I think, I, I, I think, Reinhold, you have this one. If not, let me know. Do a double pass through in the middle. First couple go left, next couple go right. I know it didn't get you there. No, whoa, whoa, sir. It gives you a line of four and a squared set. So what I specifically try to do is set it up so that they do that double pass through. Who would have thought first couple left, next go right gives me a resolved square? I know. I know, I said that it wouldn't work. Didn't I say it wouldn't work? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so. Um, yes. Heads, the new heads lead to the right and veer to the left. Do a Ferris wheel. Good. Centers touch a quarter, walk and dodge. Partner trade. Are the head ladies with the right man? No. Uh. Ladies, chain to your original partner. You ever use that one? I do. Oh, you were diagonal. See? That's okay. You guys will get older someday, and your vision will go too. 
That's why that's why I'd like to use a lot of cramps because I don't have to trust these failing eyes anymore. But anyway, that I think is a, a, a cool little thing. Oh, heads pass through. This is just simple stuff here, right? Heads as couples, clover leaf sides come into the middle. Good side star through, pass through. Clover leaf heads come into the middle. Heads work as couples. Zoom. Sides come into the middle. Sides do a right and a left through. Work as couples. Zoom. I mean, just individually. Zoom. Get it right. Get it right. Heads pass through. Bend the line. Pass through in a couple's trade. Hey, hey. That's the first stage. Okay. Oh. Let's go back to beginner class. We can all do ladies' chain, right? Okay, heads. If you do a four ladies' chain, not it's as in all four ladies make a right-hand star. Head ladies make a right-hand star chained to the diagonal man. By the way, that's halfway, okay? Chain them back. So, all six ladies make a right-hand star and chain to the opposite guy. But we got six couples, so we can do this. All six ladies chain two thirds. Make a right hand start, go to one, two, three, four. Four, the fourth guy. And if you want to, if you don't have mathematicians in your class, you can say four sixths. I says I have trouble saying four sixths. But, okay, if, if the ladies chain one third, they'll go to the second boy. All four ladies chain one third. Good. But I, I really like this. All six ladies chain halfway go. All six ladies go in with a right hand star and flutter wheel. Pick up your original guy and take him to that new home. Opposite? Opposite. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Then all six boys make a left hand star and reverse flutter wheel. Oh, you is one lucky dude. Good. Join hands, circle left. Something that I want to do a little later, but I, I, I want to show you right now. Okay, everybody, I hope, knows the call, do paso. What's the last part of the call, if nothing is said? Courtesy turn. Bless you. You're all the best dancers in the world. Head square through four. Pass through and trade by. Box an ant. Do a Dixie Grand. Right, left, right. Do Paso. Be it ever so humble, there's no place like. You got it. Uh, that's cool. And it comes in later. It comes in later. I want to show you, but I want to make sure you know it. Okay. Hold on a second. Uh, for the people who are sitting in the back, there are more chairs. We kind of rearrange things up a little bit. If you want, if you do want a chair, there are a few scattered throughout the, the main part there. And then there's two over here, and there's a couple on this side also. One right here in the front, I think, if you'd like to come up and sit, there's, you know, get out of the, get out of the door if you can. If, if, you, if you want a seat, there are some seats up in the front. You just kind of wind your way up here. Yeah. Let's just, you mind if we just call a little bit and you see it in action? Hey, bow to the partner, please. Turn and bow to the corner, lady two and a hit square through four. They know how to do all this stuff now. Touch a quarter, please. Scoot back. Well, a boy, you run around a lady, then pass through and a partner tree, my friend. Pass the ocean. Relay the new go. First girl on goes six hands. That helps to know. Next girl go four hands. The last girl meet the girl you started with and turn three quarter. Good job. Swing through. Then a boy run around a girl right there. Ferris wheel. 
Those in the middle do a right and left through, then do a wheel around. Do an eight chain six. Face in your home. You got it. Now the sides. Sides lead to the right. Circle six. Only the side man break. Make a line of six. Sir, you're not a side man. You can't break hands with her. Yes. Good. Pass through. Three by three, wheel and deal. Whoa. We found a hard one. Do a double pass through. First group go left, next group go right. Yeah, that left. That's good. Pass through. Three by three, tag the line. Face in. Pass through. Tag the line again. Now, let's do a grand centers in. First couple squeeze in, next couple squeeze in. Cast off three quarters. You got it. Line ripped to the middle and back. Touch a quarter, please. Coordinate like normal people. Girls hold on and boys move out. Boys are trading with a boy. There you go. She needs a boy. Each boy should be holding his corner's hand. That's okay, sir. I call it job security. Bend the line, walk her up to the middle, and I come right back. All right, I'll let through and turn the girl. Gonna pass the O's. Swing through. Do an AC DC. Then a boy run around a girl. Then bend the line, touch a quarter. Circulate one. Boy run around a girl. Pass through, trade by. Box and ant. Pass through. And a right or left brain. Uh oh. On the fourth end, promenade on. Or was it the fourth? I forget it. I messed up. I hate trying to read. Okay, but let's talk about that part. How many of you have used right and left grand on the third hand do this on the fourth hand? Well, when you do six couples, you could do right and left grand on the fifth hand do it. Okay? And we did that Dixie grand thing. Okay? Let's just do that again. Square your set. Head square through four. Okay, yes. You got that right. Okay. Pass through and trade by. Box it out. Do a right and a left grand on the fourth hand. Do a do faso. That's the same thing as doing the Dixie grand thing. Okay? And when you courtesy turn, you're at home. By the way, do we have, would anybody down here like to be relieved for a little bit and have somebody else come in and dance? Can we get two other couples up here? Okay. Okay. Now, there we go. Oh, by the way, just getting up to square dance is Reinhold Rodig. And he wrote a program called Colorama. And he was at my seminar last year. And he loved it so much that he adjusted his program to do six-couple choreography with animation. And we have a limited number of copies, but you're welcome today to come up. It doesn't have its full program in it. It just has the six-couple feature. Okay? And Is that right? What? You want to... Yeah, you you just run it in PC mode. You know, all the Macs will run PC program. You get you get Windows and put it on there and run it. You can do that. But anyway, uh, it's here for you for the taking, and it's full featured. You can write your choreography and do the stuff right, Reinhold. Yeah, and it doesn't have an expiration on it. <laughs> Well, let's not get into that yet. Okay, well, you'll get a chance. And if we run out of copies, (laughs) 
Sorry about that, guys. But for the rest of you, you can see Reinhold. He's going to be in a booth. He has the program on a stick, and you can copy it. He'll, he'll give you a copy. Uh, yeah, I recommend the whole program. I use it. So w- can we get our square back together there? Oh, okay. There's, One only little... about, there's only about eight or ten copies left, but uh, once again, uh, you have a, you'll be down here with a, at a booth. You have a, more copies available. He's got it on a flash drive. If you bring your laptop down, you probably copy the whole thing there. And there's also the website, www.colorama.com. So I, I presume you can go there and, and download it as well, or is it? Color lab. Yeah. Oh, only for okay. Yeah, this is special for you guys here. You're getting something that other people can't have. But if yeah. you see him, you get it while you're here at the convention. Yes. Okay, and uh, it's a marvelous program. All the stuff I forgot to demo, plus the stuff I did demo, will be on there. And you can actually see the animation dancing those these things that I presented. Now, another call. How many of you like Grand Square? There's many different ways you can do a grand square. I've settled on my favorite being that the heads work as a couple. So instead of one, two, three, turn, it's one, two, bend the line. That takes two steps. So it's still four steps. So the heads will keep your partner the entire time. And... It's one, two, bend the line, one, two, bend the line, one, two, bend the line, one, two, three, reverse. Okay, the fourth time through, you don't bend the line. So, Cy, uh, let's put on the music because it always sits better with music. Side stays, grand square. One, two, bend the line, one, two, bend the line, one, two, bend the line, one, two, three, reverse. You gotta give these guys a hand. I, I mean, I've seen regular squares not have such nice timing, but it works. I think the sky is the limit. You know, you can you see that one more time? You were talking. Side face, grand square. The line, one, two, bend the line, one, two, bend the line, one, two, three, four. Okay. So let's have. Okay, yeah. Side square through four. Head couples bend the line and face each other. Heads grand square. Go back away. Sides keep coming. Four hands rotating. Four. Four. You did. Okay, go back home, everybody. If you square through four hands, you're going to be facing. Well, yeah, okay. Good. Side square through four. Heads bend the line and grand square. Back away. Go. Sides clover leaf. Ah, you gave up, you gave up. No, don't get cloverly over here. That's okay. I should have called it Alf Deutsch. <laughs> anyway, that works. You know, some of the gimmicks we did with Grand Square, you can find a way to make them work. Okay, uh, here's, here's one I like. I tried the other day. Oh. A warning, this will not work in most clubs today. Because if you call promenade, don't stop, don't slow down, they can't get past their home, can they? You run into that? Yeah, I run into that. Good. Alabama left. Promenade, don't stop, but don't slow down. Okay. Side bend, put your girl in front, single file, keep walking, keep going no matter what. Heads bend the face in. Heads go up to the middle and back. Heads do a do sa do. And when you're done, star through. And a square through three. 
should be corner, Alabama left. Should be home, say, whoa. You know, these old figures of let's have them do something. Do something. The possibilities are endless. I just can't wait for some of you guys to go home and experiment and send me back some notes. Because, you know, I've had to do this all myself, and I just, yeah. But um, it's just, it's so tremendous. To, a basic routine that we do in singing calls, watch this. Head square through four. You just got to trust me now. You got to trust me. Everybody make a right-hand star once around. Heads to the middle, make a left-hand star. Go back and face your corner again. Is that cool? I mean, it's the old simple double star routine, and it works fine, and it looks cool, and it times out. Now, let me talk about singing calls. There's a whole lots of things you can do, okay? But what I, what I, most of mine, I don't try to do many singing calls. I usually end up calling too long and say, let's take a break. Okay, But you can do singing calls, and you can have a million of them with the idea of just remember this phrase, 8 chain 6. Why 8 chain 6? It's going to get you halfway around the square, and you're going to get your partner, I mean your corner. Okay, That keeps your promenade shorter. Okay, Now you're going to find out why I'm not a famous caller. Square your sets. And I'll do a singing call to show you what it's like. <laughs> what was it? Most of you can't get these other Turn that Whoa. volume down a little bit. How loud do you have that? Where is it? Okay, I got to turn that down. Well, the question was, uh, what was the question that somebody had? What are the hoedowns that, that he's using? Okay, there you go. Okay. Uh, some of you know me. Most of you don't. I own a music company called Riverboat Records, and I produce my own music, and you cannot buy it from anybody but me. Nah, 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 nah. Mainly because if I sold it to a distributor, I'd lose so much money I could never re cover a fraction of my cost. Yes. It won't be you you see well, what, Reinhold what, what, what disc are you talking about? The C D that uh, Reinhold has here? Okay. The no, question not the for music. the for the tape, because we are being taped, we want to make sure we get every all the comments and questions on the tape. For everybody for the tape purpose of the question was can we get a copy of the C D over to registration? Uh, so that people can pick it up and so forth over there. And the answer is? No. No. Okay. You see well, Reinhold. He owns, the, he owns the program. He will be here. He'll be at the vendor section, and he will gladly do that for you. Okay? Which would accomplish the same thing. But it's not to be distributed outside of those members who come to Color Lab this year. Okay. The hoedowns are, oh, those hoedowns are brand new. They're part of a package. You know, as Wade and, Wade and Jerry told me, you got to do it a package, Bob. You got to do it a package. Well, I never felt comfortable charging more than normal for a song. So I have a package that has 10 hoedowns and 10 singing calls for 2011. Those are part, those are brand new hoedowns. Brand new. Uh, seven weeks now. And already it's the best package ever. I've sold more of that than anything ever. And they're great hoedowns. They're fun to do. Uh, they're available. It's called Riverboat Gold. There is a website. If you come up, we'll give you the information on how, how to go to the website to order online. They're MP3s. There will be no vinyl. Okay? Uh, I, you know, people like Elmer can afford to spend money and lose He's only made money on two vinyl records in the last five years. He, he loses money producing vinyl. I can't do that. I'm sorry. <laughs> and, if, and if I give the guy who's retailing it more money than I make, I can't do that either. 
So maybe I just, but I'm happy. You'll find my music is phenomenal. Right, Marshall? Oh, you, so I gotta do it. I'll do a song that Marshall did once. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I gotta tell you a little story too. Okay. Before, be, before the earthquake, I had this idea to do this. The first one is called Fuji Mountain Breakdown. I, I took a Japanese piece and added bluegrass to it to give it a whole new feel to make it easy to call to, but obviously Japanese, right? And we had real Japanese instruments come in and play, okay? The second one was cool because my good friends Ken Bauer, Gary Shoemake, Chaparral Records, they did stay a little longer. I always wanted to have my own interpretation. So that one's called Longer. It's Stay a Little Longer. Gary likes his so much he wasn't even going to touch mine until he was at a dance and said, oh, i got to use it at least once. And he tells me that's, he would use it all night long if he could. And it's, they're nice pieces of music. I am very much into phrasing. My pattern has phrasing. It dances. It feels good when you're dancing because the music tells you to move your feet at the appropriate space. But anyway, we're not supposed to do big commercials. If you want to hear about that, please contact me. And since Marshall was so helpful, I think this was one of his songs. Let's do a singing call, all of six couples. Oops, i got to use this one. Here we go. Alabama left to the corner, come back to the side Face your corner, star thing. You join hand circle. Alabama left to the corner, then boxing at and go. You pull her by to the corner, Alabama left. Hey, hey, hey. Swing the girl around and promenade. We just did one corner progression. There's six people, I like to do six progressions. Head square through, go. This is where eight chain six comes in mind, not always doing a six. Pass through, trade by, dosado right here. Eight chain four. The pass through, trade by was two, plus four is six. Swing your corner. Promenade around the ring, you know. I'd like a little fond affection from just a little girl like you. Now the head square through and get me four hands. And with the corner lady coming round, do so do. Make an ocean wave and then relay the deuce. Yes, first girl go six hands. Next girl go four hands. Third girl two hands. All girls hold on. Boys run. You promenade around the ring you run with just a little girl like you. Alaman left, do sudo. All join hand circle. Alaman left, box the band and then pull her by. Slide through, roll, swing, promenade around the ring. I should have Marshall come up and sing this, yeah. Now, here's, here's you, know, you have trouble with the sides. Sides face your partner back away, you got a line. Everybody, touch a quarter. Boy, run. Eight chain six. Everybody, touch a quarter. Scoot back. Swing the corner, then you promenade. I'd like a little fond affection from just a little girl like you. Sides face, back away, lines up to the middle and back. Single circle halfway. Slide through, a chain two. Pass through, trade by, that worked good, a chain two. Touch a quarter, roll the face, swing and promenade. I'd like a little fun. See, they're all camouflaged eight chain sixes. And here's a cool ending. Head square through and go to four now. All the way around the ring and then. Do sado. Look her in the eye. 
pass through trade by box it at do a Dixie grand right left right do passo I'd like a little fond affection from just a little girl like just a little girl like just a little girl there home so I like to rotate everybody got got a partner change. They were creative, so they got different partners. Uh, I we have time to do some question and answer stuff. Okay, you can sit down. How about a great hand for what they've done? Yeah, if if you were in the square, for sure you get the first ones. There's about six left up here. Six or so of the CDs, six or eight of the CDs left. So. First come, first serve. After that, uh, see, Reinhold will be in the vendor area. Is that correct? Yes. Reinhold, where are you? And let me tell you, he did an amazing, amazing job preparing this program to do the six-couple stuff. And let's all give Reinhold a, a big hand for his work in it because he loves this thing. Hold on. Oh, you're going to get one. Okay. Anybody else, anybody else needs to see Reinhold to get a copy? Okay. Now, is there any questions? Oh. Oh, have I? Okay, the question was, have I ever done anything with advanced? Six couple advanced. Uh, when I went to Bronx Club, I did six couple C1. So I think, yes, I've done six couple advanced. Yes, and I, I love it. I do changes. If you do advanced, I'll, I'll just, oh, we got a return on a CD. On the six couple advanced, you start getting into some really different alternative results. For example, if you know the call motivate, well, you'll end up with a wave in the middle, but the two waves on either end have three boys and one girl. <laughs> you know, so you really, you, I, I like to say, you know, prepare yourself for something like that. If you're, if you can call on the fly. You can call this, you can use site calling for this. The Lord will love you. <laughs> Your dancers will kill you. You know, it's like, I, I told my dancers, yeah, I can do that, but there's so many permutations. I gave up here. This is, you know, getting your correct partner back is overrated. Having a good smooth dance that feels like you're dancing is underrated. It's much better to dance smoothly and end up with somebody else. You, don't you, you agree? I love to see these heads nodding. Yeah, I understand it. So that's my approach when I do this. And we do things. If you do a chain reaction, I, can, I modify it because I look at the essential parts of a call. Like with a chain reaction, you walk by one person, don't you? Okay. So those waves that are in the middle, they walk by one person and make their stars. Dancers learn it quicker than I can snap a finger, you know, and they can do it. And I can't think of other stuff. You you go, you can do things like spin the windmill and tell the outsides to circulate three times, or you can be a purist and say just go twice. Uh, my dancers, they just love it. They they want to know what I have in mind, and they just want me to tell them how to do it. You know, what do you want me to do this time? And they, wow, I just did that call. I regularly call advanced. In fact, 90% of my calling is at A2. But I, I love beginners. I do one night stands. I do not do, use this on one night stands. <laughs> but, uh, what, what I like is you get a, you get some get outs, a lot of your fancy get outs. And if you don't have any good get outs, talk to my friend here, Marshall. He'll give you a few of his. He, he's got some great. He's got some great ones. I have a question over here, Bob. Okay, where's the – there you go. Hi, Kenny Ferris, Laurel, Maryland. Uh, something I do on the, uh, in the six couples during the singing calls, uh, an alternative to doing the eight chain, which is a great idea, um, is if you want to do your corner, uh, your corner progression and your corner box choreography that you typically do in a singing call, just go ahead and do that. But ahead of time, tell the head man they can stop halfway at the end of every verse. And uh, in other words, instead of promenading forever, 
just promise. Oh, yeah. And I, then they get, and then I it really you. isn't any trouble. They get used to sure. stopping halfway, and at, at the end of every figure, they're the other side of the square, and it's not really a big deal. Oh, and, I see. So that, they're not going back to their not, original not home. Not original home. Go halfway. That's cool. And, and, that's a good alternative. Right. That's a good alternative so to do forever. that. I do another thing uh, on singing calls. Heads promenade halfway. Sides do a right and left through and load the boat. Sides pass through, and everybody's got their corner. The thing is, if you write something, write something that's quick. Write something that's quick and get them out of it. And if you're going to be doing this six-couple stuff, I doubt that you're doing a full evening of it. You're, it's Like I say, mostly it occurs on the first and last step of the day, the night, whatever. And you do it there. You don't have to have that many variations on your singing call, you know, and that's it. I, you know, your favorite is if they do a relay the deucey, head square through four does I do relay the deucey, boys run promenade. That's a corner progression, and the sucker is so long it eats up the whole song. <laughs> and if you're and, and, and if you're gifted like Ken is, you know, you say relay the deucey, you get to sing longer. You know, you could put more words of a song in there. Any other questions? Is anywhere? Yeah, we got one in the back. Hold on a minute. Jim Wass from Riverdale, Maryland. There's uh, just so much to say about this. Good job, Bob. Uh, appreciate uh, your uh, doing this program today. Uh, head square through four to the corner. Of course, we've got all those little boxes, so you've got all of the isolated side available to you, so you don't have to make them walk all over the square. And uh, uh, there was a question back here about the alternative. Uh, you did uh, a Siamese, head Siamese, uh, side space, grand square. Yeah, okay. Uh, 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 what do you do for alternatives to that? I use an individual oh, variation. Oh, okay. Can we get a square up again? And we're just going to look at what's possible with grand square. Can I get six couples? We need a side couple there. Okay. There we go. Okay. The question is, what else can we do with Grand Square? And my answer, again, is I think it's limitless. <laughs> yeah, everything. But one way, another approach to doing Grand Square is have everybody individually do a Grand Square. Okay. Heads will be doing half of it in what we call tandem. Okay. Sides face. Sides, you're going to be doing the normal stuff. Okay. Heads, when you walk into the middle, do not face your partner. Let's have the heads go in and face the middle of the line. Hold the hand of the one beside you so you stay together. You're going to back up together. When you come back in toward the middle, you're going to do the same thing. Go say, go back. And so let's just put a little piece of music on and... He's, yeah, I'm going to start over. Okay. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Sides face, grand square, one, two, three, turn, one, two, three, couples back up, turn, single file go in, single file reverse. Yeah, and that's another great way to do it, okay? You know, I even, I even have variations on the teacup chain. Where the head ladies go in from home and the four of you make a right hand star. And then with the sides go, they make a three hand star and all of that. It's, uh, what do they call that thing on earthquakes that a four or a five is not, no, it's, uh, yeah, the Richter scale is, it's not, it compounds, you know. You, you don't just get twice as many varieties with six. You get two to the third power or something like that. Ask Vic Cedar, he'll tell you. Uh, okay. By the way, by the way, Vic has another program that I also use. If you use his, you can write it. And, like, it doesn't have animation, but it's 
it's one of my staples. I just live with your program, Vic, but you know that. <laughs> and he that, has it has six computer program or what? Yeah, uh, what do you call your program? <laughs> CDS. CSDS. Oh, it's the CSDS, the regular CSDS. Yes, yeah, yes, and it has it has a six couple option, and you can go in and define. Dick, it just takes me long too long to do it, <laughs> but you can def, you can define a call, and actually you know have beginning and end results and do it, and then you have it to write your sequences. But he also has a great program for doing six couple stuff. Um, Let's see, other ways to do a grand square. Eh. Center's face. I'm losing that. Jim, okay. you. Hello? Okay. Yeah, he uh, has we, the center of the we, line we face have, each other. They'll have, back up. Yeah, we have the head couples as lines of four. The centers of those lines of four are going to face. Oh. They will begin by backing up. The sides are going to. Not you, forward. you're not the center. Honey, you're not the center. Yeah. The sides are going to walk forward okay. first. The heads are going to walk just behind them, the head ends, and they yeah. will turn in and follow them. Basically, what I, I think, excuse me for interrupting on this, but it reminds me of something I've done. Okay, so the centers of the line, the heads face, but the other heads spread. That would have you, Jim, you would be spreading. Uh, no. Yeah, okay, so now, it's not, now, it's not as now, every, yeah. now everybody, walk, uh, the, 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 the people who spread it walk forward, and the sides go forward, and the heads back up, yes. And it'll work from there. Back into your line on the end, and then yeah. reverse from here. And you see the three couples walk in following each other, and it looks like a wedding procession. Yeah. Yeah, I, 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 I would do that. Excuse I, me for yeah. interrupting. But because the reason I would do that, having the head spread, I, I've actually used it as C1, not with six couples, but I've done that. Uh, well, slide apart, I don't care what you call. And then everybody takes exactly the same amount of appropriate steps. And he's, li he's right. That was really cool. Thank you, Jim. That was just totally excellent. Totally, totally good. Uh, uh, anything else? I don't want to keep you guys standing forever. Thank you. Let's thank Jim. That was a great idea. I'm going to go home and use that. Any other questions or comments? Anybody want to make? Uh, yeah, oh, hold on. Go. So, Steve Anderson from Winston Salem, North Carolina. Um, I noticed when you had uh, your triple pass through, you can do track two. Oh, track three. Track three. Track three. Track three. Is that what you call it? Please, track three. They'll, track they'll three. do it. Okay, <laughs> and then can you do linear cycle after that, or where's linear cycle? Absolutely, because each wave is doing a linear cycle. You have three waves. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay, another thing that I didn't do, but I hope you can all mental image this. Head couples past the ocean, you have two waves, right? Ping pong circulate. Some people are going to the next wave. Some people are going outside. You have two waves in the middle. You know, it's just it's mind-boggling the number of things that you can do. Okay, how about all eight spin the top? Would that be? Yeah. That all would, twelve would, spin the top. All twelve. Yeah. Yes. You're doing stars. Uh, I would I would tell the I would tell them that they're moving up to the original partner. You know, I would say all 12 spin the top, turn half by the right, girl star, boy move to your partner, you know. And, you know, eat a sandwich. When they get <laughs> when they get there, then you do the next thing. Oh, another question, all right. Oh, Vic, my buddy. Uh, Vic Cedar, uh, California. I do a lot of rectangle calling, um, and I cite it all, and I, I do get them done. Well, of uh, course, so you, I expect you to. <laughs> so, anyway, with the all this, I have I have enough to do a session on this actually. But um, with the the stuff we mentioned, the all twelve spin the top, all your circular stuff, your Alamo left to an Alamo ring balance, swing through, and all that stuff. You can all do all that stuff the same. Uh, with the singing calls, uh, when you you were very careful to do a twelve chain six to get off the other side. You want to minimize that promenade distance, so you have to be careful what 
what you normally quadrant, but what section of the square you end the people in for the swing and promenade. Sure. Uh, when you're doing the singing call sequences, I have two different ways I do it. I would either do it because we have seven uh, musical stanzas or whatever exactly. to do. So you can either do the normal one, the opener, middle break, and closer like you normally would, but then just progress an extra person for the uh, figures. So after the head square through four, do a, do a zero, then pass through swing and promenade. You okay. put in two of those, and you get you can do your normal opener, sure. middle breaks, and things. Uh, another point uh, that I've noticed that, that this is quite important, I think, for sight calling, um, I've noticed that even though there's eight states that the girls could be in and eight states that the boys could be in, in terms of sequence, okay. if you only restrict your choreography to uh, material that involves all eight people, like you make your zero box, then you call normal choreography. Okay, you know, swing through ACDC, boys run, couple circulate, chain down the line, blah, blah, blah. You only have the normal states we have. The girls are in sequence or out of sequence, and likewise for the boys. Once you start doing something like just the outside waves swing through or the, just the center box right and left through, you introduce all the other states. Okay, so you can actually easily sight call this stuff by just using, as long as you use uh, all 12 people moving at once after you set up your zero box or zero lines. And we've and that, that, that mostly isolated so, sight, right? Yeah, so, you know. okay. but, but uh, you can do your coordinates. You can do your things sure. like that, you know. Um, you relay the DCs, and it keeps them all in sequence or out of sequence as appropriate, as long as you don't call something like, I call it kind of asymmetric, like the outside waves swing through or, or, you know, some of your sequences had the, you know, the sides pass or whatever. You had the weird ping pong circulates at 90 degrees. You know, once you get into that, you're going to mix people yeah. up. That's why I couldn't resolve them. See? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> right. Uh, but I'm working on that. I almost have it worked out. One cool thing that you didn't go over that I actually discovered by accident quite once is I tell the dancers, I, I give them couple numbers, one, two, three, four, five, and six around sure. the outside. And... Get them doing their normal uh, hex, or not, excuse me, their normal rectangle stuff, and then get them all promenading in sequence. And let's say couples one, three, and five wheel around. Now we have a kind of Sicilian circle or whatever isolated boxes all over the place, and it's kind of moving into hex. And you can do a bunch of stuff, a few zeros, you know, slide through square through three, element left, and promenade back home. So in that sense, instead of you get rid of a lot of this rectangular stuff, and all of a sudden you're doing this little uh, Sicilian circle Excellent. stuff. Excellent. So that's a cool thing to do. See, the other Reinhold, questions? you're going to have to renumber those. <laughs> Are there questions or comments anywhere? Anybody had a question? I can't believe you've all you've all understood everything that got it all digested. All right. Well, thank you, everybody. I really appreciate it. Uh, let me do a little advertising. I'm supposed to do a session tomorrow on, on crams, and I want you to understand it's not like any cram session that has ever been done. Uh, I, I heard the original cram thing, and I went, oh, my God. I can't, but the, it intrigued me. It intrigued me. And I worked on it and worked on it. I was sitting at home one Saturday morning, and it just my eyes opened. And to me, it is the absolutely easiest system that I've ever learned how to use, and I love it. You don't have to use the system. You can use the system to enhance your sight calling and do it. And I'll be going into things that are important about some of the approaches that Crams presents to a caller in designing his material and why they're good and why it makes it better for you to use that. Now, you see it on the schedule. It's not happening. Okay, uh, Buddy Weaver had a alternative music session at 2.30, and I had one at 1.30. They didn't tell you at the meeting, but they've been switched. So if you show up at 1.30, Buddy Weaver will have a fantastic session on alternative music. And if you show up at 2.30, I'm going to be doing easy crams. I wanted them to call it easy because... You all need to know how simple it is, and I was robbed of my key thing for that to promote that program. Elmer Sheffield and I have been working together on the phone. He said, I want to learn how to do it, and I've gone to two schools, and I just don't get it. 
And in January, he sent me an email. He says, Bob, give me a call. I can do it. <laughs> Anybody can do it, no matter how long you've been calling, how, how much you're set in your ways. And you can just take a little bit of it and improve your calling. You don't have to switch over to being a crams caller. You know, you can still be a site caller, but you can get more bang for the buck out of your calling. Because remember, the first word of the acronym CRAMS is what? C, control. How many of you would like to be in control of your choreography? Yeah, it sounds like a good idea, right? And so that's what I'll, I'll be delving into in that session. And thank you guys for putting up with me, and I, I had a great time. And let's have a nice hand for those dancers that were up here forever. Thank you.